Welcome to the presentation of the 2023 Renewal by Anderson, Central North Carolina, Coastal North Carolina, and South Carolina All-In Awards. We're going to start today with the Coaches Award. The Coaches Award goes to the team member who demonstrates the most growth and development, a desire to learn, a willingness to listen, and exceptional dedication. This team member consistently exhibits sincerity, leadership, a positive attitude, a strong work ethic, and punctuality while building team spirit throughout the year. The 2023 Coaches Award nominees are Olivia Mathai, Marketing. Kelly Skeeto, Sales Department. Corey Clark, Installation. Robert Haken, Installation. Jess Hardison, Accounts Receivable. Okay, well I'm honored to present the Coaches Award this year. Um, this person is far and away one of the most dedicated employees we have. Typically the first one in the door each day. This person stays on top of their task, is a self-starter who needs little oversight, asks the right questions as necessary, and gets their work complete and it's correct and on time with a smile every day. This person is now our go-to person on paying the subcontractors. This knowledge has allowed this person to perform close to a thousand audits on jobs to make sure everything was paid out correctly. This person has developed a system to pay workers comp insurance from scratch, which is hundreds of thousands of dollars each year. With this dedication, I cannot imagine a more deserving person for this award. The winner of the Coaches Award is Jess Hardison. The Mentor Award goes to the person who people come to for help, for advice, for a shoulder, for an ear, for their opinion, for their consistently calm and steady approach, their innovative ideas, and always for a laugh. The Mentor Award honors the person who wants to coach someone to be their very best self, the person who takes time to make others more productive, more collaborative, and more equipped to do their job effectively and live their life more fully. The 2023 Mentor Award nominees are Whitney Gonzalez, The Call Center Tommy Lemieux, Proximity Ed Painter, Production Clark Mortensen, Sales Lael Fritz, Warehouse the Mentor Award. Uh, this person is always working in their department or any department to help people improve. Additionally, this person is always on the lookout for opportunities to improve processes and procedures and streamline all of our efforts. Uh, this person constantly is working to open windows and doors of communication between uh -huh. all departments. I got what you did there, Paul. <laughs> uh, and the winner of this award is Lael Fritz. The Customer Experience Award. The Customer Experience Award goes to the person who, in true renewal by Anderson fashion, continuously delighted our customers and consistently exceeded customer expectations. This achievement comes through a can-do attitude that is empathetic, sympathetic, has a knowledge of the business that can clearly communicate the why, and a passionate and personal desire to go above and beyond every day. The 2023 Customer Experience Award goes to the person who made a memorable difference for and a lasting impression on our customers. Tammy Brimmer, Accounts Receivable. Harold Alcade, Sales Department. Michael Van Horn, Sales. Courtney Maslick, Customer Care Department. Aaron Braxton, Installation. The winner of the Customer Experience Award is going to an, is an individual with great customer service skills. They're friendly, they go the extra mile to give the customer exactly what they want. They work long hours to get the job done in the time frame that's needed. They're the go-to person for our problem customers. Although I don't see their direct communication with our customers, I know that this person strives to make the customer happy at every install. Shows nothing but respect and integrity when speaking to my team and me. And I know that expands into his work with the customers. Their tasks are to flip, flop, to flop the jobs that have failed for some reason, whether it be factory or install fails. Nearly all of the jobs are at the I won't pay level and turns them into happy customers who are going to write that check. <laughs> the winner of the Customer Experience Award 
although they're not here, is Aaron Braxton. Poor Aaron, I will say thank you, but also he's not here because he's out taking care of a customer. <laughs> thank you, Aaron. Yeah. The Performance Award. The Performance Award goes to the person who not only knows his or her numbers, but and has not only achieved his or her required metrics, but actually exceeded the goals that were set for them in 2023. Since every department, and in some cases individual positions, are rated on different criteria, the Performance Award is calculated specifically on the percentage increase of the person's goal versus actual year-end accomplishments. The 2023 Nominees for the Performance Award are Leanne Wen from the Call Center, Matt Rathbun from the Sales Department, Tommy Lemieux, Proximity. Good morning, everybody. Um, so, we're really, really excited about presenting this award. And, um, you know, performance means you go and you do and you never stop and you meet your number goals. And, um, you know, 2023 was a tough year, uh, but this person did meet his number goals. And uh, he's working so hard now that um, he's actually in another territory by accident. So we are going to have someone else receive this award on his behalf. But I wanted to tell you that um, this is written from um, the perspective of our friend Becky Fritz. And she says, ever since I took over the Greensboro office, this person has been an indispensable member of our team. He has consistently gone above and beyond the requirements of his job and has always been a strong and reliable leader. As a team lead, he regularly spent time coaching and managing his own team as well as his fellow team leads even before he took over his current role. In his current role, he has showed a great willingness to adapt to and overcome anything that was thrown his way regardless of how difficult the obstacles were. He's an incredibly kind and caring leader. Oftentimes, he would come to work earlier than expected to in order to ensure that he could analyze the turf in great detail, check out the weather patterns, and go over any of the things he wanted to coach his team on. He has continued to carry that same level of care and leadership into his current role, and I'm grateful for everything he does to better his team. The Honey Badgers would not be the same without him. Um, I think that everybody on the team would ditto Becky's comments, and um, we are very, very pleased to honor um, Tommy Lemieux. And I would like to say that he, come on up, Becky, he exceeded his goal three times. He bonus six times at 180%, 180%, and 220%. He increased his uh, leads issued year over year. Uh, he had 185 total uh, sets. That's sets and 455 total callbacks. Um, so uh, he brought in $787,000 from his efforts, and we really would like to give a huge round of applause for Tommy and uh, Becky. Is there anything that you would like to say about your friend Tommy? I think that this would mean a lot to him in person, but he is currently in Garner helping our Raleigh team grow and reach its potential. So thank you for that, Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> we'll show him the video. Okay. The You Can Count On Me Award. The You Can Count On Me Award goes to the person who always says yes. I'm on it. Okay. Sure. Of course. No problem. Always with a smile and usually without asking why. For a manager, this is a breath of fresh air. Being challenged is good, but the You Can Count On Me Award winner doesn't just challenge. He or she challenges, explains his or her perspective, and provides a viable solution. He or she is reliable, steady, works until the job is done, and always, always delivers with a happy, positive attitude. He or she always shows up on time and usually early. The 2023 You Can Count On Me Award nominees are Cassie Jennings, Call Center Kevin Andrews, Sales Department Mara New, Proximity Sue Marshall, Admin Kim Fritz, Warehouse It's got to be in the DNA. This person um, <laughs> uh, came into our warehouse and immediately made an impact. Um, another leader who always has a smile, a kind word, and a can-do attitude. Always ready to help and pitch in with anything needed or asked. This person comes to work with a smile, always wants to do what they can, uh, can do to help, 
and is friendly to everyone. Uh, the winner of this award is Kim Fritz. Uh, Kim is, uh, has been a force in the warehouse transformation. Her positive energy um, on, is every morning without fail. So she's always there, she's always smiling. And I couldn't think of a different person that'd be more deserving of this award. The Leadership Award. The Leadership Award goes to a person who, simply put, goes above and beyond every day. This person is hardworking, efficient, and ready to tackle an unexpected challenge with a smile and determination. The Leadership Award honors someone who is a collaborator, who is always ready to listen to new ideas and implement novel processes that will improve productivity, performance, and company success. The 2023 Leadership Award goes to the person whose glass is always half full, has short and long-term vision, is simultaneously courageous and loyal, and is always the example for others to follow. The 2023 Leadership Award nominees are Gina Tice, The Call Center, Kelly Skeeto, Sales Department, Kim Fritz, Warehouse, Sue Marshall, Admin, Ed Painter, Production. This particular person's uh, direct leader could not be here today and uh, I, I'm going to take an opportunity to speak for just a moment about this person uh, who's been with the company, I, I'm not sure how long, but longer than me, um, and goes quietly and quickly and efficiently uh, about their tasks and their responsibilities every single day. Oh, there it is. Thank you, Jody. Um, like, oh, comes to work every day with a smile on his face, um, always ready to take on the day. An infectious and positive attitude that motivates and inspires not even their colleagues in their department, but all of the people that they encounter on a regular basis. Limitless potential, always looking for the next challenge, chosen because of his integrity and character and what we should all aspire to be. Uh, I am excited to be able to present the 2023 Leadership Award to Ed Painter. The Difference Maker Award. The Difference Maker Award goes to the person who makes a difference in the lives of our homeowners, our colleagues, our families, and our communities. It's in his or her DNA. It's a part of who they are. This person is appreciative and grateful for everyone in their life. It is their goal to bring out the best in everyone, to be a good listener, and to be true to their word. Outside of work, this person gives back everywhere in every corner of their lives. The 2023 Difference Maker Award nominees are Fred Williams, Sales Derek Sutton, Production Ed Painter, Production Jonathan Dunbar, Call Center Okay, I'm trying not to give the name away. <laughs> this employee is a difference maker at work and outside of work. Their calm demeanor and willingness to assist makes them an asset to our team in many ways. Whether it's a quick job to lighten the mood or difficult, or, or difficult customer or assisting the agents with different needs. They're always there and ready to help. That this person has displayed the true definition of making a difference in our call center as well as outside of work. Our agents call him our rock. Renewal keeps us all quite busy, but this employee still finds time and room in their heart to be a foster parent, not only to animals in need, needing a warm place to recover and heal before they find their forever homes, but also to children in need. I've had a conversation with them about fostering an eight months old baby and then being able to give the child back up once a better opportunity was found. I think that's amazing. The difference that person is able to make in the lives of those children for months or years by providing a loving home shows their passion passion and love for others. And the winner is Jonathan Dunbar. The 
The manager of the year. The manager of the year is carefully considered by the executive management team. This highly respected honor goes to the manager who day in and day out goes above and beyond to make their team, the management team, and the entire company more successful. This person collaborates with every department to ensure strong communication and transparency that leads to great results. They manage a high-performing team who respect them for their knowledge of the business, passion, and high regard for a strong work-life balance. The Manager of the Year is friendly, kind, and always a team player. The nominees for 2023 Manager of the Year are Kim Alke, Marketing Sarah Howard, Customer Care Charlie Fusco, Production Seth Eskenaz, Call Center Brent Jones, Warehouse Becky Fritz, Proximity Terrence Moore, Production We're very fortunate that Renewal by Anderson is blessed with you know, incredible personnel, incredible people, and that goes all the way from uh, our proximity teams, through our sales teams, through our installation teams, um, and, and we are even more so blessed that we have incredible leaders. And our management team is constantly having to work and do and, and, and take care of so many little issues all the time. So this year, we had the voting, and surprisingly, um, after everything took place, we wound up having a tie. <laughs> and that's a good thing. We have so many good managers and so many wonderful people that we actually have a tie for the manager of the year. And so we've got two people here to actually do the presentation. Um, the first person here that we're talking about, um, let's just say he generally cares about his employees in RBA. He wants to do a better job every day. Never misses a chance to ask someone how he can help. My team and I are very appreciative of Terrence because his work ethic is truly amazing. Um, Terrence, you're absolutely wonderful. We love you. Come on up here with Mike. And it's not every day that we have somebody that has a catchphrase. Go ahead, Terrence. You can say your, your catchphrase while you're here. Top of the morning, I guess. <laughs> yes. 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 Afternoon now. Okay. Now, our other winner... Um, They've managed a significant amount of distractions over this past year. Uh, she kept her team engaged. She also delivered performance to help lead and drive our customers' best customer experiences. Um, constantly observing her coaching and her entire team in meetings as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching. Uh, can't stress enough about her ability to lead the team in spite of giant distractions and I might be one of the biggest of the giant distractions. Um, she thrived in her environment and she didn't let anything get in the way. Um, she's kind, pleasant, helpful and I have to say this, she always has a smile on her face. She runs a pretty tight ship and I've never heard anyone say anything bad about her. She's constantly coming up with new and innovative ideas, receptive when uh, given directives, and always has follow through. And she's patient, especially with me. Uh, understanding with her team, and also knows how to get things done. And I never have to ask. I walk up and I'm always told, we are at. So, without further ado, Sarah Howard, would you please come up? So congratulations to our two managers of the year. Um, thank you for everything you do. Thank you on behalf of your teams. Thank you on behalf of the company. And thank you on behalf of Angela and myself. You guys are awesome and we really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. has become our custom, we're going to wrap this up with the Culture Award. The Culture Award is awarded to the inv individual who best personifies the positive, dedicated, passionate, hardworking, honest, friendly, renewal by Anderson of Central North Carolina, Coastal North Carolina, and South Carolina company culture. That might be a run-on sentence. <laughs> um, it is not. And genuinely cares about the health, happiness, and success of his or her fellow teammates. Mallory DeSosa. Admin, Ed Painter, Production, Dom Lumia, Sales, Fred Williams, Sales.
as I think is appropriate, I made the call on this one. Uh, our inaugural Culture Award winner is David Pittman, so I'm going to ask him and Monty uh, to come up and kind of pass the torch for us. So, for the Culture Award, uh, comes with being a team player, the ultimate team player, uh, working hard, um, accountability, always smiling, always willing to help anybody they come across. Uh, they're always focused on their job, uh, they're focused on their family and their community. Uh, there's little no doubt that uh, this person who we see every day offers a great smile to everyone in each room. Uh, this person is very heavily involved in their community, uh, in their church community. They also uh, go the extra mile for anybody they come across, for customers as well. Uh, I also am consistently seeing this person to be soft-spoken leader of the SEAMS sales team. He brings a voice of calm reason to support leadership when change is required. And I think we often forget those that speak softly. So, Monty, would you like to do the honors? Well, you know, we're all humble when we get to this particular award because this is our culture. But this year's winner of the Culture Award is Fred Williams. Congratulations, Congratulations, buddy, and thank you for everything you do. Very much. And, and guys, I'm up here in some great company. I mean, these two gentlemen right here are absolutely phenomenal. And I try to tell them every time I see them how great and wonderful they are. And we spend a moment, but very often that moment's just like in a quick pass or, you know. But they're always there. They're always smiling. And they're RBA at core. And we love it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Fred. Thank you. Congratulations. I just want to say thank you all to, uh, to everyone throughout the company, here and not here, for all of your hard work, dedication, and effort each and every day. Uh, congratulations to the award winners. Thank you to the nominees. And let's keep crushing.